joining us. Burrida, Hugh. Well, Burrida, but I'm wondering how good a morning it is for Plaid Cymru. You're on three seats. You've not gained Anis Morn or Ceredig Yonathanelli, which were your target. So uh, how disappointed are you? We were predicted to lose two out of our three seats at the beginning of this election campaign and we've increased our majority in both of those seats despite the fact that Labour threw a lot of resources at them. So we've also seen uh, an improvement in our share of the vote in places like the Ronda, Pontypridd, Cardiff and the Western Valleys and that of course stands us in good stead to face next year's National Assembly elections where we hope to do much better. I'm just wondering because you had such a high profile campaign and you took part in those leaders debates lots of people thought that would translate into gains in terms of seats um, and I spoke to some of your people certainly in, uh, in Anismon who were sounding very confident so what went wrong? It was tantalisingly close in Ennismorn, 230 more votes our way and we'd be having a different conversation now this morning. What is concerning is that we now have a Conservative government uh, to, to rule over Wales without a mandate. It's likely that the cuts and the austerity that we've seen to date is likely to be much worse in the future and we've got a third rate devolution settlement here in Wales unable to withstand those attacks. Contrast our situation with that in Scotland where the SNP have done very well and are likely to get improvements in their devolution settlement and provide some sort of shield potentially for people in Scotland against what's to come from the Tories. And it makes sense for us now here in Wales to consider what we can do uh, from a Team Wales approach to try to provide a similar le level of protection for people here in Wales against those cuts as well. Um, what, what is going to change in your strategy then, Leanne, given that you've not made any gains this time? What's going to have to change in your strategy as you look ahead to the Assembly elections in Wales next year? Well, the Assembly elections are very different elections, of course, and people do vote differently in Westminster and Assembly elections. And traditionally, Plaid Cymru has had greater levels of support at that level uh, of government. I've had very positive feedback during this election campaign. People have liked what we've said. They've liked our manifesto. Our candidates have worked very, very hard. And had there been a, a different uh, blowing of a different wind in some of those constituencies, then we would have had a, a different result. So the Assembly election is a very different election. Um, I'll take some time to reflect on this result now and what it means uh, for Wales, but certainly I'm very optimistic about our chances ahead of next year. Uh, Leanne Wood, good of you to join us. Thank you very much indeed. Leanne Wood.